You want to see something cool? This is a plug tray that contains 288 individual little plants. They look like this. This is a baby pansy seedling. And of these 288 cells, every single one of them has a seedling in it. How is that possible? You see, we're a finishing nursery, so we take these young seedlings or plugs and then we plant them into larger pots and finish them to retail size. But this right here was produced by what's called a young plant nursery, and they specialize in actually creating trays like this of plugs, of seedlings or cuttings, or whatever it is that a finishing nursery is going to purchase. And one of the big mysteries to me was how did they get uniform germination for all of these cell trays and not have any blank ones? Well, the secret is they don't get 100% germination. Nobody can because, well, not every seed is going to perfectly germinate even when you have really good seed and even when you give it the best conditions. So whenever they sow these trays, originally there are going to be certain cells that do not have a plant growing in them. Now, back in the old days, if there were any cells that did not have a plant in them, they would have to find another tray, pick out, a healthy little seedling and plop it into that empty space to make sure that before they shipped out these trays that they would all be full and it was a very arduous and long process done by hand. But now instead of this being done by hand, it's all done by really complex and really cool robotic machines and artificial intelligence. So these big growers will purchase these big machines and then they will take their trays, which are incomplete. They feed them into the machine, which will then start taking pictures of them and analyzing whether or not each cell holds a plant and if that plant meets the quality standards that they have. It will then identify any plants that do not meet the standard or that don't have a plant in them at all. And it will send a specialty grabbing device to reach in here and pluck that plant out and then move it away and then it will backfill with a fresh good plant in its place and it will fill up every single one of these cells so that way it looks like they were all germinated and all grown to spec. And it's amazing how quickly these machines work. Many of them can do thousands and thousands of plants per hour, which is really spectacular considering that these machines can work 24 seven and don't need to take any breaks. Anyway, just thought you would like to know the process behind the scenes of how growers can get 100% of these cells to have a beautiful little seedling in them.